Hello and welcome all to Body Bass Gaming Channel Full Guide for Vale and Caverns Dungeon. This is the second dungeon for the Horde, it's located in the Barrens. In this guide I will show you how to get quests, how to do them and all bosses. Let's start with the first quest, up to carry Zeme in the Thunder Block. Serpent Bloom, you need to collect 10 Serpent Bloom in dungeon. You can collect them outside of the instance also. For second quest you need to talk to Archdruid Hamu Rune Totem. This quest starts in the crossroads and Oasis quests. May the eternal sun shine. You wish to speak? This is the most important quest because it gives you a good weapon. Even as a warrior you can do use this because of the high damage. Sword is also good. We shall meet again. In order to get the quest Smart Drinks for the Veil and Caverns, first you need to do a quest to Raptor Horns. The Raptors of the Barons are smarter than Raptors in other lands. He needs 5 intact Raptor Horns from Sunscale Skytcoves. Next quest for Veil and Caverns is Smart Drinks. There is a substance called Veiling Essence and I think it is the cause of the strange plants and animals in the barrens. Get me some and I will try it in my drink. Bring Shea's portions of Veiling Essence. In Ratchet. There is one more class for Veiling Caverns in Ratchet. Travel at the docks. Had a little mishap, as you can see. The morning cargo shipment from Booty Bay was huge, huge I say, never seen so many crates. Well, I was trying to expedite things, so I started unloading a bit more than I could handle. That's when everything came tumbling down. Crane operator Bigofaz in Ratchet wants you to retrieve the bottle of 99 year old port from Mad Maglish who is hiding in the Veyland Caverns. There are two more quests for the Veyland Caverns and I will show you how to get there. There it is. There is a vendor here with two other working patterns. David hides. These David creatures have strange other world properties. While evil in nature, it's my opinion that some good can come from their existence here in Kalimdor. He wants 20 David hides, 10 salt bag reward. David Eradiction Narovak set a noble goal. Narovak's dream turned into a nightmare and corrupt creatures begin to inhabit the caverns. Brave the caverns and eradicate the David spawn. Kill 7 David Ravagers, 7 David Vipers, 7 David Shambles, and 7 David Redfangs. Choose one of these rewards. Weather pattern, male gauntlets. For the quest David Hyde, you can attack these elites outside of the dungeon. I will try to take down this raptor, level 16 elite. You 
you can kill these outside mobs with your group for the quest items I got one, nice you can find serpent boom even if you are not in the instance as you can see mad magush it can be found outside of the instance on two or three locations I found him here Mad Magush at the second position here he can be at three positions entering Veiling Caverns for the second time with the second group after the hero of the first group called me a stoner, stoner with no brain I decided to have them let's try to do it Veiling Caverns is a great dungeon you can take three ways at the start you can go left and right here and look for Lady Anaconda or you can jump down here and take a left or a right side, it doesn't matter at the end you will finish at the same place Crash! Level 20 turtle Going up David Adder David Adder I need them for a quest David hides oh, let's see if we can take down these three mobs no I should stay on one target Casting dots on the other targets will get them to attack you. Moving forward, let's attack the caster. Lord Cobrahan for the boss we are going to kill he is needed for the quest of leaders of the fang you need to kill four leaders you need four gems from them Now going the other way to clear the main side of the instance. A druid and a David Shambor. Let's take the caster down first. Yeah, but of course, let's do the other mob also. So annoying. David Lashers, non elites. Good old AOE, take care of them. Okay, let's take the druid. Remember, kids, always go for the caster first. On that junction, I go left. I 
I think that's a good way to get all bosses. Interrupt. Oh, did someone get a level? Nice. Let's take the next left. Let's try to pull him out. Nah. There's a boss. Let's clear this area first. Boss is dead. Let's move on. Not the best pull. After the boss goes this way. And of course on Warlock. Who else could that not be? Okay, let's go up. Okay, let's charge in. Let's take the next left. I'm in combat, of course. Up ahead, there is one more boss, not needed for any quest, but we can kill it for XP and a chance for a wood. Okay, let's try to pull these two back. In case if they start running, not to pull the boss. Sleep, 8 seconds. Scum time! He has lightning attack. And that's it. After the boss, let's take this left. Let's continue going left. After killing 4 mobs, going up again. You need to jump here. Got it. 
going up we have two bosses here Lord Serpentis, Fang Lord is the leader of the Fang probably he will drop some weather, which I don't need Can I disarm him? Oh, he's already dead. Next boss, Verdon the Ever Living. Well, his time of living is over. Okay, he's on me now. Stamina Spirit. After you're done, jump down. And now we can go and kill Lady Anaconda. It's time for Lady Anaconda to die. None can stand against the Serpent Lords. Can I get some rage so I can interrupt her? Two mobs, one town. Okay, they are me now, and I'm sweeping. This sweep is really annoying. Everybody's on me, okay. Oh, I destroyed some things, so now I can loot again. And that's the fourth gem we need. Come aid me! Yeah, yeah. Right now I'm clearing the path to the narrow X. After you kill all the bosses of the Fang, you need to come here at the beginning of the dungeon, speak with disciple narrow X and ask for him to narrow X to awake him. Dreamers Rock there he is, Narrowax. He's in, in a deep nightmare. This disciple is going to awake him. First wave is almost dead. Nightmare ectoplasm. A lot of them. With that one is not on me. Five out of six. I need one more for the quest. That's it. Quest. Mutinus the Devourer. Last boss of the Veil and Caverns. 
And asleep, asleep. Your ability also need to be interrupted. He will drop your quest item. Be sure to pick it up. Thank you for watching Bale and Kevin's full guide. Write in the comments if you would like to see more guides like this. Before you go, smash that like and subscribe button. That means a lot. Until next time, goodbye.